Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Irina and in today's video we are going to visit Bucharest, the capital of Romania. And I think this is going to be an interesting one for many of you because it's not that uh, really touristy spot of Europe. So right now we're going to have a little bit of sightseeing, also we're going to eat a lot. So I think it's going to be a fun one. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right now so you're not going to miss any of the upcoming videos. And right now, let's get visit Bucharest. my ladies Monica and Sophie and we are testing French Revolution basically they have amazing eclairs it they have around 20 different type of eclairs and all of them is looks amazing so right now we are just going to test them out all right Monica how is pistachio like really heaven in my mouth at the moment <laughs> Nice. And what do you having, Sophie? I'm having grapefruit and it's not so sweet. It's like a bit sour, but not like really intense. It just feels like really grapefruity. <laughs> right now it's my turn. And this one is really good. Passion fruit is amazing. So I really recommend you to try, try this place. So this is French Revolution and amazing. Right behind me you can see the parliament building of Bucharest and this is one of the biggest institutional building in the whole world and all day long this road there is uh, there are so many fountains and I think this is very cool but actually how it was created it's not that nice the whole vision of this building and this road is came from Ceausescu who was one of the biggest dictator in here in Romania and basically they needed to destroy a whole neighborhood and also the forest to build this area in here but I think right now it's very pretty but how it made it's a sad story so this is how you have to check it Right now I'm here in Animaletto and I must say that the atmosphere of the place is great and the pizza is also very very nice. Uh, I would like if the crust could be a little bit more crispy but otherwise I really like it. Uh, the toppings are amazing and I also get this fresh tomato paste what I can put on my pizza. So uh, food right now it's 9 out of 10, it's not bad.
This street where we are right now is Piata George Enescu, if I'm saying it correctly. It's always a pedestrian walkway during the weekends and you can find in here so many good restaurants, bars, uh, there is a big life around. So I suggest you to come into this area if you want to get some good food and also, you know, have some quality time. Our next stop is Gelateria La Romana and this is one of the oldest uh, ice cream shop in here in Bucharest. You can also see it on the sign that it's open its doors is 1947 and the line is always huge even in the morning even at night. Right now we are going to get inside and check out the gelatos. So here is the moment of choose. It's melting very quickly. So mm, I have to taste them. It's very nice. I have uh, some kind of uh, peanut and I also have uh, stracciatella and also them. All of them are very nice. Also, they are super kind. I get some extra chocolate in the can, so I'm very interested in how it's going to be. And they have at least 20 different flavors and also many types of other desserts together uh, with the ice cream. So I highly recommend you to come to this place. You will have to stand in the line, but it's going to be worse. So the ice cream is already ended and I find this extra calorie boost in here it feels like Nutella it's very nice but it's also maybe a little bit lot after the two scoops of ice cream so. <laughs> By the way, I feel that Bucharest is a very underrated city. I cannot say that, you know, this is the best place on earth or something, but I'm sure that this is worth a weekend getaway because there are some few beautiful buildings, there is also very good food. So I encourage you to put this on your list. You can find so many great restaurants and coffee places in here in the old town area but right now we are going to head into Hanoi Manuk which is a traditional Romanian restaurant. Manuk, they are serving many types of traditional Romanian dishes. They also have live music and the waitresses are waiting uh, traditional motif clothes. So I think this place has a really good vibe. So if you want to enjoy some really Romanian experience, I recommend you to come here. They're there. Thank you. is just right and I was requesting uh, mitite what is a local type of sausage and is served with mustard and potato so I think it's going to be a good one <laughs>
you can feel two different vibes in here in Bucharest. One side is coming from the history as Romania was also part of the Soviet Union and if you're walking around the streets of many buildings you can still feel this uh, communism era that it uh, hit a mark on it. But from the other side there is also very very modern vibes in here. Like right now we are sitting in an area where there is a very cool ice cream place behind us and in here we are on a very nice um, coffee place where we get crazy good cocktails so I think this is a very interesting part of the city that it has these uh, two vibes and you can you can feel this mix <laughs> Here is our last food spot in here in Bucharest. Lati is having a very great ribs and they are really looking good. And I was already carving for a great burger and I think I get what I wanted. Let me show you. Here is it. There is a nice slice of cheddar, bacon, there is also some guac and some jalapeno because I like this spicy bite. And I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to hit that like button, also subscribe. And we are going to explore new places next week in the next video. See you guys!